just a little video update. Um, these are my Ironheart 555-01s, 21 ounce denim, nice, slim, straight fit. Um, been wearing these for about six months. I like to do a review of denim after about six months because then you start seeing um, the evolution of something to look at. Um, and I think we're pretty much there with these. So, got these at the beginning of the year um, up at Rivet and Hyde in London. If you want to check out my original video, there's some nice footage of them hemming them, which I quite enjoyed watching, which is really interesting. Um, obviously, they hem them because these come in at 36 inch leg. Um, no one's 36 inch leg, even with cuffs, um, so you need to trim them back a little bit. Um, what that has allowed is uh, a couple of offcuts there, so we can compare the original colours, which will show how much of the the, the, the denims evolved over time, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, so first impressions, or impressions after six months, um, I'm super pleased with these uh, iron hearts. Um, first time I've had Iron Hearts from the start in their signature 21 ounce denim, um, famously stubborn, um, breathable, high quality, heavy weight denim, and it's exactly what you get. Um, these have been great all year round. Um, they are breathable, they are heavy, um, and apart from the very hottest days, they're, they're pretty wearable jeans in the UK. Really enjoyed wearing them and yeah, the quality of the material was second to none. We'll get round to, to some examples of that in a minute. Um, but I thought, obviously, everyone wants to see the fades, how the denim's evolving. So we'll just have a quick run over. Um, we'll do some shots of them on, do a few measurements, and you can judge yourself whether, whether you might want to pick these up. So as I say, heavyweight denim, slim, straight fit, um, Really, really nice fades coming in. Always the first place you start to see fades is on the uh, on the back pocket. Um, just the highlights of the edge, as I call it, and the thicker the denim, the greater uh, the exposure of those edges. And, and this really comes through as a nice electric blue, really. Super dark indigo blue when it starts off. Um, just for comparison, there's your original swatch, unwashed. So you can see they've, they've lightened up all over, but little bits of the, the pure white cotton showing through, elsewhere electric blue, the, the arcs there, very subtly starting to come through there, so colour ma matched cotton, they'll remain super dark blue, you can just start seeing the contrast building there. Lovely highlights, and you know, one of the first places you start to get payback from your, your efforts. Um, again, on the belt loops, you start seeing those electric blue colours coming through, really beautiful. Whilst we're back here, um, worth mentioning the, the leather patch there. Originally these come in a, uh, a, a raw, sort of unconditioned leather, um, and over time they'll bring on a patina. Now, I've seen plenty of images on the internet, specifically with Ironheart, um, these patches do not work well with tumble dryers. I never tumble dry any of my denim, but these shrink and crack and they end up a complete mess, really sad. Um, even with the gentle washing regime that I uh, use for these, um, they do need a bit of care. You can start seeing, uh, maybe we'll come in for some close-ups in a minute, you can start seeing some slight cracking uh, on the embossing, and that's with sort of a few treatments of uh, this leather conditioner from Chamberlain's very light, coconutty healing balm, as they call it, but I use that sort of before and after each wash just to try and protect it from the, uh, from the water and detergent. In terms of washing regime, um, for me, every three months I like to give it a cold soak. That gets the, the debris out between the, the fibres um, and stops that premature wear, in my opinion, at least. And then every six months I like to give it a gentle wash with detergent, again, bathtub, low temperatures to 40 degrees um, and what I use for that is Samurai Thunder Soap which is a natural soy based detergent. Um, so that's the back, or part of the back. The other half is of course there and again you can start seeing the highlights coming in at the back, sort of rise and yoke and indeed on the 
belt loops all round. Now the front, you can start seeing the whiskers coming through. I think we probably will need to come in for a few close-ups to get the best out of these, but super thick, so sort of ripples, super high contrast, you know, it's completely inky indigo colours in the uh, in the pit of the crease and on the, the ridge, you know, you're quickly seeing that evolution to the white fibres showing. Again, nice evolution around the pocket. And yeah, these are being worn in my leisure time, a couple of hours every day, weekends. Um, and yeah, probably not as quick as some, but the evolution's there. The, uh, the branded copper rivets are slowly patinering. Um, but they've not picked up any sort of greens or even dark uh, copper tones, so a lot of work to go on those. Um, the whiskers coming out from the, the crotch. Now, in every pair of jeans I've had that I've worn raw, this is where the first sort of frayed fibres start coming about. Um, this is where you find out whether you've got tough fabric or not. Now, pretty much without fail, Hyatt, Levi's, everything I've had to date has started to show those first broken fibres around the crotch where it gets super high wear. Same with the back of the knees, and um, we'll get onto that in a minute, but this is probably the test for quality denim or heavyweight denim. There's not a broken fibre in there. I'm not even thinking about repairs. Um, I'll give it a year mark, the 18 month mark, and probably still not worry about the structure of these jeans, which is just fantastic, really. Um, from my experience, those are the areas, the crotch, the back of the knees, where the wear is super, super heavy. Front pocket, uh, with the fifth pocket there. Um, nice little selvage detail on the inside, which I didn't spot in my first video. It's a little details which came Now, this, these aren't laden with branding or labels or writing, but little details throughout, quality stitching, simple, robust construction. Um, these really are just impressive at the base level of the denim. Um, selvage details on the inside of the, the fly buttons there. Um, but yeah, the, the quality of these is second to none. So just moving down the leg, um, have a quick look at the knees there. You can start seeing the, the whiskers spreading out. Again, very subtle, very gentle, um, but still evolving nicely. Flipping them over onto the back. Now you can start seeing some nice combs coming in there. Again, inky black at the base and starting to bring out those electric blues at the top. And again, as I say, these are the areas where you get really surprisingly heavy wear. It's the, in my belief, it's the dirt and the fibers because you're not washing them regularly and just that constant movement, which just makes the rear of the knee a real weak spot, in my opinion. Finally, moving down to the, the cuffs. Now for me, there's no real stacking. Um, I have cuffed these pretty much as they hang. There's a gentle sort of stack there, but no, no evolution of color. One thing that's well, a little bit of uh, fading on the back there, but you know, nothing to talk about, no super stacks. Uh, the cuffs are showing a little bit of wear at the back there. Uh, these are double cuffed. Um, so these are uh, hemmed at 34 inches and they're a couple of cuffs so I guess for me um, my inside leg for a nice straight hang would probably be about 30, uh, 31 inches um, but these are hemmed at 34, cuffed a couple of times and work just fine. Now you tell me, question for you at home, um, when you cuff you do get this wear, it's inevitable and every time you wash, you can recuff. And people talk about sort of changing how you've cuffed it, but I'm I'm baffled. I always wanted the same length, and uh, no matter how you're going to cuff it, you're going to get the same fold at that point. Um, maybe I'm missing something. Put it down in the comments if uh, if you've got a wonderful technique for dealing with your cuffing. Bit of debris coming out there. Um, yeah. So we'll hop in for a few close-ups. We'll do a quick uh, couple of measurements. Pop them on, Just and then we'll close-up up. detail here. Highlights around the pockets. Lovely, lovely fades there. Um, just a quick look at the 
the label, you can pick up some slight cracks, but bringing on a nice rich colour there. Around the front, got the nice honeycombs, the highlights around the pockets, salvage detail on the inside edge, likewise on the inside of the flies, top quality stitching throughout. It goes without saying, nice little WKS works branding. Again, just for a close up, the fades coming out of the crotch there. Nice honeycombs forming on the back of the knees. And of course, the inevitable wear around the cuffs. Coming in for a few measurements. Um, first of all, the front rise. Measuring from the, uh, the stitching. Comes at about 10.4 inches. The thigh, 11.8. The knee measurement, as far as I'm aware, you measure down 13 inches and then across from that point, and that comes in around about 8 inches. The waist, probably the place where I expect to see the biggest change. Um, you can expect to see a up to an inch stretch in this 21 ounce denim. That comes in 17 by the measurement, so a true 34. Rear rise is 15.2, the hem 7.5, and finally the inseam is uh, as was hemmed at 34. So these are normally uh, something, as I say, which you'd expect a bit of stretch in. Um, I don't think I took measurements as I got those, but I haven't really seen any uh, massive stretch. They've certainly broken in. They've become more comfortable, more uh, more pliable, but uh, no massive stretch. Just a few close-ups with them on, just to hopefully show off those fades again. And uh, yeah, very pleased with the cut of these. And nice fit. I mean, the top box is tight, um, but I think that that suits the slim style of the leg. For me, it's just under 12 stone, 510, couldn't really sort of want a better cut. Well, that's about it for these. Um, we'll be back at the one year mark. I do uh, feel a bit more Ironheart denim coming into the collection. I really want to get the uh, the triple five O threes, which are a uh, all black. Um, weft and weave uh, black dye, but not reactive dyed, so do fade to grey, and um, I'm hoping I can get away with those in the office environment, um, probably for six months, and then when they're sort of faded, and uh, they've got the whiskers and their honeycombs and stuff like that, they'll probably just go back to uh, leisure wear, but a bit of fun in the office, something to brighten up my day, and uh, yeah, Bit of a treat so probably before the end of the year we'll see some 5503s come in i've got the uh the triple six uh duck cotton they'll be coming up to their six month review soon i've been wearing those in the office quite regularly as well interesting material um 17 ounce but really doesn't have that super super heavy weight um feel to them uh so there'll be a review on that coming up but yeah i hope that's useful if you're thinking about these um I've yet to find a more impressive denim. Uh, the search continues, but this is the best denim I've experienced so far in the sort of five, six pairs of jeans I've bought on my raw denim journey. If you haven't seen my video or my channel before, um, please check it out. Obviously, denim, quality footwear, and maybe some other common interests, cycling, uh, guitar, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, uh, outdoor kit. Um, yeah, check it out. And if you like the video, obviously give it a thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribed. And uh, I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.